Bitcoin, we start with one hour chart. First of all, if we refer to our analysis in my last video when the price was within this down move, we mentioned we're looking for the reversal. But we add since the price dropped because of news, we can expect the price give us a correction before we get the reversal. Anyway, as we can see the price, we get this correction and there was no trade setup to look for buy. And no one see what's the next. First of all, we move to daily chart. Okay, as you can see, based on daily chart, the price broke the previous low, which is this one. And if we, to, we put this low in relative to the previous one, this two in relative to each other, MACD doesn't show us the divergence, but the other indicators, we see the divergence. Okay, technically, if you look at this, if we get any reversal, we will be more interested to look for buy because since the price was within this move, we have been looking for this flat, the price didn't reverse. We get this down move. We can look for this one as expanding, all right? The reason is if you put our line here, the price tagged the previous low. Okay, now for sure, if we get any reversal in terms of the risk and reward and we are looking, it can give us a good trade setup. But a few things we need to consider here. May the price reverse, but turn to a corrective move for the flat for one more drop before the price reverse. That's mean this one turned to deeper correction. Or if the price reverse from here, this is what we're looking for. We need to know about the second opportunity. How about if this one is the start of the down move? Okay, if we put this one in relative to the previous one, if we refer to the indicators, we see the price was losing the momentum. All right, that's why we get this down move. And if we move to weekly chart, as you can see, after the price break the previous, the top of the 220K, which was on 2018, this is the sharp move we get. We get this correction, but it was a really small correction. And this is the biggest correction we get. How about if this one is going to really turn to a really deep correction? I won't say the reversal, but deeper correction. That's why we need to be really careful. How about if this one start to drop for the deeper correction, similar to what's happened here? Okay, that's when if he wants to look for trade, we need to be really careful. And for those traders, they trade other crypto. We know that whenever the most of the crypto, they follow the Bitcoin. If it's dropped, the rest will follow, most of them. That's why even if trade based on the other trade, uh, I mean, uh, if they trade other crypto, they need to be really careful, okay? And uh, the best thing is if we, we can, that's mean if we want to look for trade right now, if we get any buy setup, we will be more interested in terms of the risk and reward because where are we going to buy at the lowest price? If the price reverse, it can give us really good trade. But what I want to say that if we get any trade for buy, we should have the proper management. If it turns to a corrective move, at least we move our stop loss to break even. If not, we take out the trade, we look for the next trade, okay? And based on daily chart, we don't have any trade for buy and we move to forward chart. And what we can see based on forward chart, first of all, if we put this in relative to the previous one, we see we have a divergence and make the, almost we have a divergence, but better we don't consider as a divergence right now, okay? And what we can see here, if this one turned to a corrective move, still we can look for internal flat because this down move was really sharp for one more drop okay that's mean we want to see how we can look for trade this and how we can trade it but right now what i see we see here is a corrective move and turn to a deeper correction mostly we can get one more drop okay that's mean even if you want to look for buy reversal we don't have any trade setup based on forward chart and if we move to one hour chart we get this down move we can look at this one as a correction in relative to this two as a flat. Even based on one hour chart, if I want to look for buy, I prefer give me one more drop. Hit the breakout of this low, which is 42K. Any reversal from there, I will consider if I get the trade setup, I will look for buy. But it doesn't mean the price cannot reverse from here since we have a divergence, both of them. But if we want to look for buy, the price reverse from here, we have to see the breakout of 46 with a sharp move flag or correction above that, we take the trade, okay? And having entry above this, in case the price sharply reverse from here can be an option. But what we want, we want the price break and continue the price tag, which is not moving within the first or second hours, we take the trade, we take the trade. But again, technically we have a flat, wait for one more drop, 
then if we get a reversal we take the trade that's mean it doesn't mean the pro when the price tag we take the trade let the price tag drop break then from there we look for reversal okay anyway right now we don't have any trade setup and if this one turn to a correction as a trade setup for buy then we consider whether we should look for buy or not as i mentioned we don't have any trade and we're looking at this for that okay anyway we just follow the chart if i see any update i will share thanks